Hey guys, if your FPS is dropping when you're gaming and you're using the Nvidia app, then I'm going to show you how we can fix this issue. So the first thing we're going to do is just head over to the desktop on your computer and you need to right click somewhere on the desktop, click on show more options and select Nvidia control panel. You can also just head over to the start menu and search for Nvidia control panel and open up this application from here. From this window, click on manage 3D settings in the left hand navigation and select global settings. Now we're just going to scroll down until you see the shader cache size, click on the drop down arrow and you want to change this to disabled. Once you've disabled this option, click on apply in the bottom navigation and then you'll need to restart your computer. Once your computer's restarted, head over to your start menu and search for Nvidia and open up the official Nvidia application. Once the application's open, click on drivers in the left hand navigation. From the drop down arrow, select whether you need the game ready driver or the studio driver. If you use your computer for gaming, then you want to download the game ready driver but if you use your computer for more general purposes and then you can download the studio driver so i'm just going to click on game ready driver and then go and press download once it's finished downloading you can then go and install this to your computer once you've done that we're going to open up our start menu and search for disk cleanup and then open up the disk cleanup application then click on clean up system files and from here, we're just going to scroll down until you see DirectX shader cache and make sure this option is checked. And then you can go ahead and press OK. Click on delete files. And once you've done that, you can then head back over to the Nvidia control panel, come back down to the shader cache size. And we're just going to click on the drop down arrow once again. And this time you need to set it to driver default and then go ahead and press apply at the bottom of this window. And once you've done that, you can then restart your computer once again. And once your computer just restarted that should have then fixed any fps issues if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and i'll see you with the next one